not know I was king And they tore down the ten city And this hope was long before um we enjoy staying at that park all the neighbors know us and uh and don't mind us being one of the our friends actually was left over 70 dollars in change when he was sleeping one day in the park by some random doesn't even know who it was didn't wake him up just woke up and the change was there little angel nickels and dimes from heaven that's really when we first started staying there, occasionally we get cops called on us, but after a while when people got to know us, and we're not causing any problems, we just wanted somewhere quiet to hang out. You know. They see me walking around picking up all the little bits and pieces of garbage all the time, and appreciate that, and cleaning up after their dogs. <laughs> when we do sleep there, we sleep behind the trees facing away, so that yeah. someone drives by, it doesn't look so bad, right? Yeah. We not understand so that... Uh, I mean, a bunch of people crash out of the park doesn't look so great, but we do need somewhere to sleep too. Right. Uh, typically, I leave the park by that time in the morning, and I I was really tired. I nodded back off, but the second I came in the park, I got up and I started getting my stuff together to leave. And Jesse had been sick with the flu last week and whatnot, and uh, I figure he went to the doctor. That's what he wanted to do was go to the doctor, mm -hmm. and it left his stuff behind. <clears throat> and we take take care of each other's belongings. Well, other. they didn't find that it was acceptable that I was there watching his stuff and proceeded to go through his belongings. And I requested for him to stop going through his belongings. And it only took me taking two steps and, um, you know, going, you, you can't be doing that. you got to stop going through his stuff. And that's right then. I started out with a uh, punch to the mouth and nose which uh, sent half my denture plate flying out of my mouth and the other half down my throat. <clears throat> Followed up with a uh, quick toss space first into the ground while I'm choking on my plate. And, uh, so what happened to your nose? Um, I'm not sure if it was when he hit me or when I hit the dirt face first, but uh, it was bleeding pretty good. Scrape on the side of your head. All from when I hit the, the dirt. And you said was, you had uh, bruising on your arms? Uh, on my back. Um, we got some pictures of it, but I can show you that too. Yeah, we can do that later. That's totally mm -hmm. cool. Nice my friend had this tent that I think he got in Vancouver and had a quote from Gandhi on the side. It said something along the lines of, um, star uh, depriving a man of his dwelling is worse than starving a man. It's starvation of the soul. Wow. Before, I never used to have to worry about um, going and in camping myself in a, in a more secluded area, but now that this, I'm, I don't know if he's going to take some sort of action, you know, he's got teenage kids and, and whatnot that he's asked to come find me and, and also lay a beating into me or whatnot, so yeah. if I go to somewhere secluded to have a sleep, who's to know that I'm not going to wake up to balaclavas and bats, right? Yeah. Not safe. Nope. And that's part of the reason why we're doing this documentary.